first when you get under the engine you have to check your fuse box first okay you can look at the diagram right here which is on the back of the box and what I usually do is I put these in the order the same order as they are under the car and what I mean by that is if you turn it this way you look at these three fuses up top right here one two and three that's these three fuses up here one two and three so now you can tell which one is what instead of getting lost or getting confused on which one you're looking for but the main one you're looking for is right here right here you got to make sure this one's not broken if it's broken nine times out of ten that was your problem if you put a new one in and it breaks again then that's not the problem and you'll be surprised about this vehicle because you have one more fuse box come back here let me show you okay you got to excuse the truck but what you do is on the driver's side in the back I bet you didn't know this back behind this seat right here there's a little it should be a little a little cord right here you have to pull then once you pull it bam whole another fuse box I can't believe they even put another fuse box in here but if you go to the front too if you look there's two arrows right here it's telling you how to unlock it by putting your hand up under here from the top Boom, lift it right up flip it over and just like the one that you've seen under the hood it's the same thing so you pull this little box off to unlock it right here there you go right there there's another one over here okay bam flip this around same thing you got all 100 million fuses don't know what the hell they for or what they're gonna do but what they do is they got another once again another diagram and like I told you, you just flip it around the way it is in the vehicle so it's easier for you to read like this and what we're looking for is the one for the brakes I think this one on here it doesn't literally say brake I think it just says uh, stop vehicle and it does it says stop vehicle but it's, it's gonna be number 34 so then you find number 34 on here which is right here check the fuse see if you have the same problem once again if it's good then that wasn't your problem. All right. Third. Okay, on this part, we're going to uh, take out the tail lights, check the bulbs, and we're going to make sure that the actual panel is working. I really don't know the name of it, but um, I'm going to pick the part up from, you know, of course, AutoZone, and then um, I'll let you know what it's considered. But when you take off your tail lights, it's really easy. It's the same as a Trailblazer. It's the same on a, a, a Envoy and most GMs. I think even the Suburban is almost pretty much the same. But what it is is it's these two screws that go right here. You have to remove these. Of course, mine's is already loose, just for particular reasons, so I could just show you how it is. Then when you uh, slide your light off. There's this cable right here, which is pretty simple. You just take the cable right here, squeeze a little button. There's a little button up here, up top. You squeeze it, squeeze it, and you should be able to pull it right off. Should come right off like that. So everybody had to use two hands. Um, this part right here is an important part too because this could be another reason why your tail lights uh, go out on your car. Um, I don't I do not know why GM of course did this to their customers really I don't I know it may they may think it's easier but actually it's not they make it really hard for you to figure out which part is the one that you need okay so of course you have to take out these there's three screws there's one at the top there's two at the bottom on both sides and there's no way you can put this in upside down or backwards. So that's why they did it the way they did it with the screws. So I totally understand that. When you pull it out, this is where you get to your bubs. Now my bubs is not in there. Only the fact is I already bought a new one of this part, which is uh, right here. And what I did was I changed the bubs already. The bubs are all the same style bubs. So 
when you buy one you can buy three and solve that problem or you know you can take a chance to do it one by one so look perfect example if I try to put it upside down yeah it's not gonna fit no t no way no how so I understand why they did it the way they did it so you cannot make it or put it in backwards okay so let me buckle this down and I'll get back with you on everything else here's the part right here and it's called a tail light try to get this real clear so you can see it it's called a tail light circuit so that's the actual part that you need um, I think it goes either side right or left um, but come to find out on my car I needed two of them so you might not get lucky and just get one you might have to do both of them so that's the main important part All right. Okay, when you get to this part right here, huh? and you gotta go um, up under your dash right here, you're gonna have to remove these two screws. There's one screw, and there's two screws. And then after this, see, I didn't already took it out, but after you take those two screws out, it'll drop down halfway. Then you have to take this clip off. There's a clip that slides off right there. You're gonna have to take that one off. You're gonna have to take this off right here. And what it does is it, it's clipped on, it's clipped on to the bottom. You have to push this one in first and then slide it. And this part will come right off. And this over here, you just have to take the screw, the two screws out, and this whole piece will finally come out. And then you would actually see the part right here. This is the part right here. That's the main important part right there. That's what will keep your brakes from uh, working. And it's pretty easy to uh, change. You just gotta take that one little clip off and it slides right out. Do not take off the whole brake line. And what I mean the brake line, if you look over here, there's a brake line that goes inside that little, that little pump right there. Do not take that off, please. Do not take it off or you're gonna have issues. Um, and that's it on that part, so. Get on up out of here. Up okay, this here. is the most important part of this whole shebang. Right here, this clip. This funny looking clip. And what it is, is because this clip um, has to go on your actual brake line. When you get, when you go to put it on there, it slides on. But what it is, is the little metal piece right here clips on. So I'm letting you see this because you upside down under your steering wheel which is where I'm at you're not gonna be able to see this or how it comes off I just used the flathead screwdriver very easily pushed it down pushed it down and put the screwdriver in between here right here these two pieces right here right there on the side and lift up and it slid right off so I wanted to get this out the way too because later on when I explain everything else it's it's um it's gonna already be on the car and I don't want to be trying to say well you got to change that right there and you guys wouldn't understand so there you go thing is next thing once again this is the actual part you need for that issue it's in Espanol if you need it and it's in English if you need it and um after you change this part and get everything back together, your brake tail lights should work. It should work. If you didn't follow all the rules I didn't told you, they should be ready to rock and roll. And you should be able to hit them brakes, let people see those lights.